Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. This one is a bit a little bit unique in talking about monsters. Again, I know you like to call them heroes, I like to call them monsters. Let's agree to disagree. I'll stick to heroes for now. Right, one of the biggest issues is acquiring the hero that you want. We all have the same issue in we want a specific hero. We want to get that specific hero. How? What should we do? Well, option number one, pay to win. This video isn't for I will pay, I will get anything I want, I will get any monster I want. This is for play without paying to win. If you're not on that category, I urge you to stop watching. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I hope you're gone. So let's start by looking into actually how can we get the monster we want. First thing you need to understand. If you're just starting the game, you're starting in New York. <clears throat> You're not going to have the same options and the same availability that will show later in the game unless you have advanced through it. And that's going to be a pain. That's going to be a pain in leveling up, finding monsters and different things until you actually reach the stage that I want to talk about. So where do we get specific monsters we want? Specific, specific, not anyone, not any random monster. First thing, the shopping mall. If you look at the shopping mall, there is Star Store. Star Store, of course, is limited to only a specific type, a limited amount of monsters, as you can see. So where do we get these currency? Where does it come from? It comes from Star Trek. This one. Star Trek. Oh, and you're gonna say, but I play Star Trek. Where? How am I gonna get forty-five thousand K? That's too much. I'll show in another video that after you've advanced in X War, right? Star Trek actually opens a different portal when you finish the first layer, which is called, if I remember correctly, Hell Plane. That's a different one than the normal dimensional one. What's the difference? Stronger monsters, more Star Trek currency. So that makes a difference in you being able to actually get the amounts that you need to buy one of these monsters. They are at excellent level. Uh, one last play I did, I was at 12,000k, just finished it in uh, Hell Plane, I believe. No, no, it was the normal dimensional one. Now I'm at 24. So technically, uh, four times or three times should, should be sufficient, especially if you choose Hell Plane and it opens for you. It does not get open when you start the game. You're not going to see it in Star Trek. You're just going to see the normal level, layer 1, layer 2, layer 3. So that's something advanced that will show. Each showing gives you the ability to collect more of the currency, right? So you can buy these heroes, especially Eddie, you're going to need him. So that's one way. Another point, if you need material, you can see them. They're in front of you. You can buy them. Let's move to the next important point. Decomposition. Decomposition store. Decomposition store, uh, store relies on blood phrasal. Right? As you can see, this is blood phrasal. Okay. And you can exchange them for these current heroes. So, where do you get blood phrasal? Interesting question. Recycle station. Uh, hero decomposition. When you have heroes that are common type, 
B you can select them disassemble and the result will be you get blood frazel one hero equal 10 blood frazels and I think you get a lot of heroes that are usually common not of value you cannot even use them to upgrade or do anything so use them decompose them so you actually get blood frazel uh, 10 of 10 monsters equals a hundred uh, blood frazels so you can imagine how much you'll need to just get this amount but it does offer you the option toka so that's number two number three the legend mole the legend mole is something you really need to depend on in terms of acquiring different monsters why look at what's available I don't think I need to say any more and it uses also a currency a medal right so where do you get these good question that's from the arena if you play the arena and you rank up not the the daily arena doesn't really matter i'm talking about the legend championship when you are able to register in the silver group you get silver coins uh, silver medals medals gold group diamond dominator legend eh, still futuristic so that's why you have silver gold diamond dominator legend it follows the same structure so you can even see the icon see it right so when you actually battle and it closes the duration of the match play it finishes right then you get rewards let's look at the rewards it's based on rank silver metal and gold metal so the more you rank up in arena right because I'm now registered in the uh, gold group and it's a cooling off registration closed when you get the metals the metals you can exchange them you can buy the monster directly purchase him so that's point number two of how you can do it spacetime really doesn't offer you uh, except different words as you can see it has nothing to do with monsters but it's a good place if you rank in the top 100 in the daily tournament at least you can enter and get these fantastic rewards no idea what this is it's just a title a title a title okay so that's point number two of how you can actually get the monster you want which is the most important one actually the legend mole let's move into the next point events every month there is different events where you can gain the hero during the event by completing tasks right there was the event of the queen of desert acquired there was the event of moonlight paladin acquired her so that's another point uh let's move into the next point which is the summon tower and you're not gonna have this available when starting the game it's called bless point so what does it does bless point distinguish uh, the game uh, this part or help in acquiring a specific monster bless point basically works as 
any monster you have acquired you can choose him and after you've successfully completed the number of summons 180 and then 360 you automatically gain that monster also the wish list will be open to you where you can select the monsters you wish and you can get them randomly it does happen but eh, it takes a lot of summoning next point faction summon you might get lucky when you do faction summon it actually uses this excellent faction summon score you might get lucky in summoning an excellent hero you're looking for but it guarantees in every 10 summons you get one excellent hero another point card summon you can use it but most probably you'll get something random sometimes you get lucky other times not when starting the game it will require level 3 VIP or less or something but now it's currently requiring level 6 VIP to summon even if you have enough card summons another point of where you can get monsters the faction summon store now this is the most important of all every faction summon you do this one right you get a point when you get these points you can exchange them for the monster you want directly you get them directly see the list of monsters fantastic right if you're patient enough hold on to your horses as long as you can you can actually go for the upper advanced level stronger monsters that everyone wishes to have unfortunately they will be in excellent um excellent hero condition they're not gonna be uh, legendary or anything but at least you will acquire them yeah you're coming so i'll get you soon god of the sky very strong god of egypt but yes you require 120 faction summons to have enough to even select him toka 60 you might be able to do it with enough time so that's another area where you can get monsters let's move into the next one if i remember correctly where is it um yep yeah. here space discovery when you're starting off playing the game happily enjoying being beaten <laughs> you should really look into a uh, space discovery when you level up your uh, avatar or character or player and then you'll be able to acquire on the first one dimension runner then scrolls then you'll be able to acquire excellent general of rescue then eddie will be available and then finally black samurai the next level you will have him cupinor i don't remember his full name so as you can see there is availability of acquiring monsters in different ways i have an opened ice dragon ridge to show it to you and that's by the way faction summon so it is worth playing so from that when you're starting off from the beginning focus on finishing save dog it gives you diamonds you're gonna need them another fantastic point so you learn more about getting heroes let's go back 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 to the first challenge you're starting off the game new and fresh happily being beaten first when you complete these tasks in x war chapter one you get bread uh, hero 
practically useless. Let's just show the difference between two things. No, 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 no. I want to show the difference between two things. Uh, how do you open that? One second, let me try to open it to show you. Ah, oh, yes, from here. If you're playing free, you're not paying, you're not going to get the advanced. As you can see in the advanced, from the beginning, the avatar of the forest, Medusa, and then, and then, and then, and then, and more and more. That is for who's paying, as you can see the heroes are practically, not only does he get the left side, he also gets the advanced. We only playing free, we get the lovely <laughs> poor left side only. Yeah, it works like that, unfortunately. So, challenge one. Bread, whatever. Challenge 2. Desperate Crow. Challenge 3. Dimension Runner. Challenge 4. Yeah, 50 pieces of shorts to summon. Challenge... Uh, sorry, challenge 3. This is challenge 4. General of Rescue. If you complete all the challenges. Challenge 5. Ronan. 6. Yeah, we all love him. Good in recovery of health. Challenge 7. You don't get her. Don't be so happy. Get Lab of Awakening. Challenge 8. You actually do get Stormwalker. Challenge 9. Toka. Already have. Challenge 10. Scrolls. 11. Again. Dimension Runner. Then challenge 12. This is, uh, by the way, uh, X War chapter uh, advanced. This is considered at um, which chapter? I'll show it to you later. Show it to you later. So, as we progress, as you can see, then Toka. And then challenge 18, you finally get him, or was she, very bad in damage, very terrible. So that's another way by completing X4 to get monsters. Now the next question will be, and before that I'll show you what is challenge 8 considered which level of x war challenge 8 is actually london in europe which is 17 x war 17 that's challenge 8 right so how do we actually get more monsters at least for material at least at least one thing you'll notice from what I'm showing you is the different shards available that you collect and I'll show you how do you actually collect at least the rare A level. So what shards are actually available? You have summon shard, excellent. There should be excellent plus and above anyway. Elite hero, right? SNS plus, this is the one. And rare hero A level. And this is something new I've never seen before, but it does exist. B level. You're going to summon a B level. At the same time, monsters can have shards of their own separately. Complete 50, you get the monster. Mm. So a good question you might ask. If I have a shard for a monster, how will I actually get it? That means that you are in a union. And you ask for help, and other union members give a shard. And when it completes 10, don't think you're gonna get 10, you're just gonna get one shard. 
so it's just gonna basically increase instead of let's say two for two cats gonna be three and that's funny in itself so uh monsters right you summon every day you'll gain the ability to summon monsters and use them as consumable material another thing love summon you need these monsters anyway for for blood frazzle or to use them as consumable material to upgrade another monster in the lab of awakening are they worth anything or are they even gonna show depends depends but uh, common monsters usually you're not gonna be able to see them by common monsters you will see that they have a green frame around them recycle hero decomposition see how beautiful they are they give 20 blood fraser thank you so how do we actually get at least pieces of shards of rare hero a level that we can use at least something right that's a good question you get that by completing quests when you complete quests, ignore the premium pass, that's not us, normal pass. Every time you complete the daily quests and weekly and the rest, you collect them. You collect these. These shards that you collect can be used in summoning. The experience pass just basically gives you hero experience that you use to upgrade the level these are the ones we're interested in that you can collect by completing daily quests you complete them you open these boxes you get a reward you get a hero pass blah 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 you upgrade you get the shards let's move to another point I can remember correctly in what else remains um, let's see you already know that events you can get a champion or a hero from an event arena okay uh, galaxy wanted expedition uh, practically expedition will help you in one thing if you actually focus on it after you unlock it to get summon scrolls you'll be able to summon more monsters so that will help you when you have bless points to actually get the monster you want but you need to acquire him first and also when you open the wish list it becomes so much nicer that you can choose the monster you wish for and yeah, you get lucky at some point and you actually uh, summon the monster you're looking for. And I guess it's upgradable also. And also summoning does give you a reward. You see this? So this reward changes the more you summon, accumulated. Gift, you have to pay and then you get all these lovely stuff again. You can check advice on what best team to collect. Now, what else remains? Um, well, there's a lot of things you're going to have to unlock. Even the spirit link, blah, blah, blah station, which isn't part of this video. And uh, let me see. Union Up Trial Quantum Invasion mm, No Oh yeah Quantum Invasion also can help you in getting shards to summon monsters Rare A Hero And I think the last thing I'm gonna show is is on my mind it's in space lost land yes 
Lost Land has a lovely option of you can purchase common scrolls. These are the ones now actually used for summoning. Chests of Dust. Enhancement Stones. Arena Tickets. Lovely good stuff. And also after you completed one by one, you get rewards. Primal Power. Fictional Reality. A Novice. Simple. You get Eden Space. Equipment. Mercury Dust. And 10 million. 10 million gold coins. Then you get this. Diamonds. And you get Equipment. Difficult. You get Brave Heart. Equipment. Which is start just Stardust. You get Currency Diamond. Get Chest of Stardust. And equipment. So why does it have any value in the first place to be played? Its value comes from that when its timer ends, ends in 76 hours, the chest you're stopped at, you're uh, at actually, it will empty everything in it and you'll get uh, last time I got uh, 650k gold uh, five times and a number of things when this chest was unlocked after the uh, after it ends after it ends it will reset itself this is actually what you'll get if you are stuck at this level uh, sorry you'll get what was before it directly this 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 chest again when the timer runs out but of course the main rewards here are pretty much uh, attractive 30 million currency gold eternal soul and six hours of gold to summon scrolls so why would you actually even focus on this right weapons this is an artifact that increases power or hp or regardless of its type money diamonds different material you need it you need it let's even look at the inferno infernal level and go to the shop Yeah, this shop has nice things that you can buy. Let's look at the uh, level of what's available in terms of their strength. And oh, they are beautiful. They are mystic. Oh, they're not even mystic. They're mystic plus, I believe. Yeah, they're mystic plus. Brutality level. Still working on upgrading the team. Let's see. Mm, okay, that worked somehow. Uh, let's go with that. So every time you battle them, and it's going to be continuous battle after a battle after a battle, the percentage increases. 6% that was that one battle. And they become stronger after each battle, actually. They don't remain weaker. The, f uh, the final battle is going to be the most difficult, the most destructive. While you're playing, you're going to get pop-ups like this. It's a new item that's available in the store for purchase, 800k. Yeah, I would love to have these. So, all these items... Actually, mm, ranking board. Ha ha land on the peak. And it carries on until transcend. If you look at insane original time artifact, which is a pretty important. If you're not aware what an artifact is, 
let me just show you the difference of having an artifact or not having it unequip notice the power three three five okay 240 that's just because of the artifact plus 94,000 artifacts can be enhanced and they increase the power right let's have a look at the artifact itself there is guardian gem divine will artifacts prelude of evil Consider them as buffs, boosters, increasing strength. Now, when you start, it's gonna be rough. Focus on finishing as much as you can of X War. Save dog until you finish it one by one as much as you can. Focusing on leveling up and finishing X War. Focus on increasing VIP level because it does make a difference. Look at this, right? Auto yield is for 34 minutes, but because it's VIP level 4, 4 hours cumulative for VIP, 129,000 in just 34 minutes. If you clear uh, every time you actually uh, clear X war in a specific area, it says it actually auto yields faster. What is auto yield? It collects basically for you gold, experience, um, different things, stones. As you can see, 317 for in five seconds and that's plus 40 percent for vi for this current uh, level of vip next uh, level of auto yield will be viranium ore after clearing 1721 x war so do focus on all of this Focus on collecting shards, focus on uh, what type of team you actually want. Focus on adv advice of what teams are the strongest or you want to build. What monster you want to acquire from the shopping mall. Work it step by step. You can even buy the shards themselves if you're low on Star Trek currency right so you can summon monsters and you can use them in lab of awakening to awaken the monster you want etc etc and i do love following a strategy of something very simple i upgrade a monster and leave him at rare plus same kind same kind and then i upgrade another one leave him at rare plus and then I upgrade one to excellent and then repeat it again until I have two excellent and then it, I upgrade them by consuming one to excellent plus. Then he can be used depending on what level you are. Of course, we're talking about yeah, epic or epic plus. He'll need excellent plus. We're talking about legendary you're gonna be stuck with epic We're talking about legendary plus now you're gonna see something completely different you're gonna need the same monster uh, same hero at excellent plus and a legendary if you're talking about mystic you're going in another league excellent plus but epic and it will follow on mystic plus and then uh, I guess uh, what's after Mystic Plus Transcend and then Transcend Plus and then uh, Immortal. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And of course, you gain the talents that you unlock that are skills actually used in fighting. So now we kind of have a grasp more on how to get monsters. 
انا الاد ان امبورتنت بوينت افري تايم يو انهانس ذا باور اوف يور مونستر ان يونيون تك هير ذس يونيون تك رايت بيوتيفول رايت جو تو ذا هيرو كاب يا يو جيت ذات That's not the only thing. When you enhance a monster, if you click on the guide, but I've already collected them, you'll find on the lower side diamond, 50 diamonds you can collect. But that will require that you've enhanced above excellent, and then you'll be able to collect it. I've collected about 4,000 of that from many monsters I have. I don't think anyone still has anything of it. Oh, he has still. At least you can see. You see this? Unlock lore needs rare monster. A uh, rare hero. Next to it is 50. And another 50 to collect. Without doing anything. Why is that? That's because you enhanced him or awakened him let's see who else has he doesn't oh she has so you might be surprised that he, there is many ways to get diamonds that you're not aware of imagine how many monsters you've collected over the game awakened upgraded enhanced moved to different levels and they actually have diamonds with them. Yeah, see? That's a cool move to get more diamonds. So, diamonds aren't really the biggest issue. The biggest issue is you need to really play daily. Finish the daily quests. Work on the hero pass. Work on the arena. Work on your team leveling up. And before we end this video, let's end it with something cool of evolving Mystic beyond level 200. Or let's make it for Eddie. Mystic Plus. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, it's very cool. A circuit skill. Okay. Hmm. Damage increased by up to ten at one hundred percent. Very cool. And level three, attack damage increased by up to three hundred. Igniting damage increased. By up to 150. Core skill. Yeah. Restoring effect is increased by up to 100. That's fantastic upgrade. By just a, doing the awakening with the stones. That was fantastic to see. Mm. Oh, and uh, one last point. Every time you move from... Um, Rare plus and then excellent and then excellent plus and legendary legendary plus mystic myst uh, sorry epic epic plus and then legend and then mystic mystic plus and then transcend transcend plus and then immortal immortal uh, and so on you upgrade the port uh, the portrait actually which increases the power of your monster if you look at the top of them. Is it mystic? You see that white icon on the top? Yellow. Yellow is epic. Diamond whitish is mystic. Red is legendary. Purple is epic. As you can see the different colors which shows their level. Oh, he has a portrait upgrade available? No, he doesn't. No. What's up with him then? Oh, it's the guide. Oh, more diamonds to collect. 
Well, I guess one of the things that can help you to know which monster has diamonds, which is an interesting thing I just noticed, is if you go to the portrait, you see that letter red dot on top of them? It's to guide you that there is something that needs your attention. Don't you just love free diamonds? Okay, more free diamonds. I guess this video really shows you a solution for the diamond problem, a solution for summoning monsters and that it takes time when you're starting the game. And definitely will show more about Star Trek. Oh, all of these have diamonds also. This is in the portraits. You go to heroes and then portraits. Uh, oh, now we're at uh, 1,765 diamonds. I would recommend save your diamonds until you can actually, no, until you can actually access quantum invasion. And you can actually purchase, purchase the supreme chest. If you get lucky and you get the ultimate reward, you really get some good bonuses that help in attack and immunity and defense and different things. It is worth it. You can either buy it with the Union Metal or with diamonds. About 3,300 diamonds or something. This is useless. Do not buy it. Useless. Do not buy it. Use your homeland to get this. And do not buy it. Honestly, you're going to get it for free anyway. Do try to rank up also in Quantum Invasion. Upgrade your Union Tech when it opens because it increases HP. If you're asking how do I get my monsters, my, my heroes stronger, upgrade them in the Union Tech. All of this adds power. It's not there for not to be used. See all the monsters on the bottom? Yep. Attack, HP, block. Accuracy. So there are many ways for you to achieve what you want. It all depends on time, patience, and the effort that you're willing to put. I hope you enjoyed this video. My apologies that it was a little bit extra long. Mm. Yeah, when you actually get the ability to buy gold fingers... Goldfinger, when you reach VIP level 4, you can actually buy more um, than 5. It goes actually up to, as you can see, 15, and it increases. So, thank you for all that money. Don't really care about, uh, care about the diamonds now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching this. And we are, what? Do not pay... <laughs> play and do not pay hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one have a great day